let's talk a little bit about conditions and rules. What are yeah. they? How do you set them up? I'd love to. Yeah. yeah, great question. So if we're sticking with our map right now that we're continuing to build out, the rules are simply what we've created here, right? So I click on an existing rule and I can then dive into it more. Or if I want to ever create a new rule, any of these plus buttons, like every single account pod and port that you have will always have a plus button at the bottom. That's how you create rules. So if I click on any of these, excuse me, if I start to drag this somewhere, let's just send it to wants. A rule is simply what we've been doing where we can trigger it by incoming funds or trigger by date, right? So and that allows, say Sorry. it again. So it's an action, like it. it's basically the automization of the, from whatever, the account or port or pod exactly that's a that's a great way to put it a rule is simply an action that you want to happen to your money so if you want something to happen you're going to create a rule for that to happen and you can either create those rules based on any time money comes in or specific dates so that we can accomplish any of the goals that we have so when it comes to conditions that's where we have some really interesting opportunities so i just clicked on the rules that we created from our savings and debt account to transfer those fixed amounts of 50 and 100 dollars to our rainy day and emergency fund above each rule or each action you'll see a conditions tab and if you open this up it essentially creates an if then statement or if this happens then make this happen or if it doesn't happen then you can have a different set of actions happen so in this case let's say the condition is if the balance of, in our case, let's say our savings and debt pod, because that's where we've been clicking on this. So if our savings and debt pod is more than the amount of money that we want, let's say $5,000, or let's make it a little lower. If it's more than $500, then what's going to happen is this rule is going to take place. Before that condition, anytime money came into savings and debt, the action of $50 going to the rainy day fund was going to happen and the $100 to the emergency fund was going to happen. By creating this condition, I now say, I only want those two things to take place, those two rules or actions to take place, if the balance of my savings and debt pod is more than $500. So by saving this, that allows me to maintain a balance of at least $500 in my savings and debt pod so that I can pay the credit card, do whatever I need to do so I can have a buffer room there. And now anytime money comes in to that pod and it's over $500 as a balance, now that rule is going to set aside $50 to rainy day and $100 to the emergency fund. Again, a great tool so that you're never going in the negative. So. Uh, that's again one of the challenges that you have if you're just doing this through your bank and you're creating these ACHs and, and making this web manually, no problem, but it's going to run no matter what. Now, by creating these conditions for our rules, all of a sudden it allows us to make sure that we're never going over in any of our accounts. We create a bare minimum threshold to make sure that the actions can take place if we haven't met the threshold. So if we don't have $500 in this account, great, it's either going to fill it up to $500 or it's going to continue to fill it up until it reaches 500, in which case then it will start to pour over additional money into the rainy day and emergency fund.